All right, so I just recently found out that the, the dollar is crashing here in America and that we're gonna go into a food shortage crisis, which I feel it in my spirit really strong that we're about to hit times of, of great despair, really hard times, like the Great Depression kind of thing. And it's gonna get uh, bumpy and scary and dark and negative. And, you know, there's not, I mean, the book of Pro, um, Revelations talks about all this kind of stuff, but I just wanted to tell you, everybody out there that, you know, how do I put this? You know, all of this sin stuff that's going on in, in America right now, the Sodom and Gomorrah kind of stuff, you know, stand against it. Don't let them bully you into submission for for you to feel like you have to give in to their just their delusion you know how 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 nuts they are you know it's demonic it's 100 percent demonic but you need right now courage and you need right now to stand up against this whole agenda right and how do you stand up you basically don't go with the program you don't do what they want you to do and on top of that you share the word of god you tell the truth you stand on your convictions you, you tell the truth Even when it's not popular A man is not a woman And a woman is not a man And that's not going to change in 50 years 100 years Today It's just you are what you are when you're born And feelings don't trump logic How you feel doesn't trump facts and, and, and we're living in a society that feelings dictates the truth. And that is never going to be the truth. Your feelings, how a child feels today, in a year's time, they're going to feel very different than how they felt. Look at you today. You feel different about the world than you did, say, five years ago, say, 30 days ago. You know, we go ups and downs according to feelings. You know, today you're feeling sad and mopey and dopey and just depressed for whatever reason. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's bad news you received. Doesn't mean you're always going to be feeling like that. So don't make a permanent decision based on a temporary feeling. But we have dictators right now. We have um, lawmakers. We have legislators. They're, these people... They are under what God calls the great delusion that he will put on the people in the, in the end times. You know, part of what we're going through right now is judgment. God's judgment. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw Brazil. And Brazil did some really, really satanic stuff. I mean, it it's blatant. They're not hiding it. Masquerading the devil. And they, they mock Jesus. Uh. The whippings and this and that I don't suggest you watch it It's really demonic And they got punished Judgment came Almost immediately after that They got the earthquake uh, um, Rain Like it was this catastrophe that happened over there And it's uh, A lot of people died and whatnot. God don't play Those people That mock God I feel sorry for you I pity you because you're working with Satan and Satan is going to help. He's doomed. He's defeated. And so it's like anybody that joins him is going to meet the same fate. And it's like it doesn't have to be that way. God can save your soul. You can be on the winning side. You can be more than a conqueror. Right? Don't live for this world. Don't be conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Go to heaven. You may pay some penalties here on earth for not following the guidelines that the satanic priests want you to follow, right? You, you may you may uh, bear the the cross, right? And that and you may suffer, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it because of what awaits you in heaven. And because you're standing up for righteousness and holiness and purity and God's name, God's, God's uh, love letter to us, the Bible. 
So please don't um, don't follow the agenda of this world. It is extremely antichrist. It's not about what the government wants to paint it out to be. This whole like LGBTQ stuff that they keep adding letters to it, the transgender stuff, all that stuff. Okay, you can sum it all up. The abortion, you can sum it all up. Okay, the drugs, the um, trafficking, the the pedophilia. Everything can be summed up by just calling it what it is, which is Antichrist. This is a war on God. Okay? This is not about this other stuff. It's about calling evil good and good evil. That's what it is. And not only should you not partake in it, you should stand against it. This is the time to rebel. If there was any time that rebellion was good, it would be now. Nah. Rebellion is always bad when it's against God, obviously. But this type of rebellion that I'm that I'm calling for, and I'm saying yes, rebel against this whole system, absolutely. Rebel against hell and Satan and demons. Rebel against their narrative. Their conditions, their fear tactics, their intimidation. Rebel against what they say to do absolutely. And remember that you have authority. Remember that Jesus Christ has given you authority to trample on scorpions and snakes. And remember that God is with you. And if he be for you, who can be against you? A thousand may fall at your right and ten thousand at your left, but he, nothing will come near you. And even... If you go down, go down knowing that you stood for God. Go down knowing that in this state, pride is always bad. Pride is not a good thing. But be proud to stand for God. Be proud that even if it takes your life, that they love their life not unto death. That they love their life not unto death. That's a verse in the Bible that says, those who try to save their life, lost it and those that lost it found it it's going to come a point in time where you're going to have to choose choose this day whom you're going to serve as for me and my house we will serve the Lord God bless you